Hey Mecha fans, welcome back to the channel. This is Gunmetal Joe and I'm back with another painting tutorial. This time we will be painting this Gundam Aerial to the recirculation color which is a P Bandai exclusive. First things first, we need to dismantle the pieces so that we could do our color separation. And of course, I will also be painting the flight unit which is included on this model kit. You do have the option to actually fill in the actual hollow parts on the feet using a putty. Let's paint the inner frame first. We could use gunmetal black on this part of the model kit. And this is what it will look like after painting the inner frame parts. I do have to mask the actual ball joints, the connection pieces to avoid it from being too tight. And there they are. Parts painted in gunmetal black. So far, so good. Now, this is the actual model kit that I'm basing my project right now. This is the recirculation color, which is a P Bandai exclusive. Next thing that we will be painting is this white, and I will be using a satin black uh, paint from Bosnia again. Now I will be extracting the paint from the can. If you want to know how it's done, I will show you the link below. And these are the white parts painted in black, not too glossy, just right. Now I did some experimenting here. I'm also going to paint the blue with black because that's the requirement for the color scheme. Uh, but this time I will be using a spray can directly painting the actual parts. Next thing on the list will be painting the red and the yellow parts of the model kit. We will be using this Bosnia River Blue. But before we do that, we have to put primer to ensure that the colors are actually even for this uh, parts of the model kit.
we will be adding some additional colors like this uh, Bosnia copper for our pieces in the flight unit. Next, we will be using the metallic silver on some of the pieces that were masked here. Also paint the eyes first with metallic silver. Then later on, we will add Yamaha green for the final color. experimenting here on the shoulder part because it shows that the sticker will have some yellow and red accent to it so that's what I'm doing now let's see how this turns out Well, not bad. I really like how it actually turns out. And let's see the other parts that were actually painted uh, with masking on it. Guys, apologies if I wasn't able to film painting the river blue on the parts for the red and the yellow, but this is how it looks like after uh, painting. Now I did uh, paint the flight unit to match the actual color of the model kit. And we will be adding a bit of detail on the actual chest using this red marker. And let's do a quick build. Overall, I'm really satisfied how this turns out. It really looks premium. And um, let's see what it looks like after attaching the original backpack. And finally, let's assemble the shield. Now, I don't think I have to pay the premium price for the P Banda exclusive since I could create one of my own using cheap materials and a bootleg model kit. Now if only we could get the water slide decals for this one to make it look like an official product. Personally for this build, I would like to use the actual flight unit as my backpack. For questions and comments, please post them below and I will answer them best as I can. By the way, if you like this video, Please consider subscribing to the channel and 
and um, let's see some actual poses that this kit is capable by the way that's it for me thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video